Hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Simple Rockets 2 video. Yes, that's incorrect. That's incorrect? That is very correct. I'm gonna be playing some Simple Rockets 2 today, and uh, this is what we ended up building last time, which was what, like a a, a VTOL takeoff thingamabobby? In fact, I'll show you how it worked. Um, Cause I can't really remember. I remember we used like one or two sliders, and uh, as soon as we used the slide, it didn't really fly, did it? It didn't fly. Um, but this time I'm gonna build a rocket because rockets are uh, cool and that's what the game is named after so here we go Go ahead and click this go ahead and click slider one and if I do this it'll move them around look at that Wow look at that and then if I do this and then I do this oh Yes, look at that uh, and that's that's basically how my VTOL my VTOL ship worked um, And when I say worked it didn't, it didn't work, did it? Anyway, let's go ahead and build something new. Hey! Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build something completely new. It is gonna be a rocket, and this is gonna be the top bit of the rocket. I'm actually okay with keeping this bit, uh, so we will, we'll keep it. Also, we're gonna go ahead and add a parachute to the top of it because that's a good idea and that's gonna be the last section So uh, I do want the rocket to be quite big So we're gonna add one of these thingamabobbies right here Which is a staging thing so that we can actually keep the engine inside and everything will be okay Underneath that we're gonna go ahead and add another fuel tank. There we go and underneath that we're gonna make Oh, no, 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 no. Let's make it come out a bit. There we go. That's cool. That's cool, and we'll make it come down quite a bit as well. That's all good, that looks nice. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach another piece right there. That's fantastic. And then at the bottom of this, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a new engine. Yes, this big engine right here, the Apex one, and it fits on there fantastically well. In fact, that looks great. All right, cool. Now under there, we're gonna go ahead and put another staging piece on, which is fine. And then we should be able to add another one of these pieces underneath there. There we go, and in that last stage, we're gonna go ahead and add separate engines. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to do this properly. However, 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 we can use blocks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some blocks down, and hopefully, 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 we can make this look all right. You know, kind of decent, uh, and hopefully, um, the engine that we put on here is powerful enough to take off. Um, if it's not, then we could cry. But I don't want to cry today, so we're gonna go ahead and put the smallest engines on there. One. Oh, oh! Before I do this, actually, you want to make sure that you click on these, um, and you go to properties real quick like this, and then you go to advanced settings and do fuel line. Uh, that'll make sure that the the fuel can actually get to these engines, and you've got to do it on all of these pieces, otherwise it won't go too well. Anyway, um, this is the only real real way I know of uh, putting multiple engines on the bottom. If you guys know of any other way, then let me know, because that would be great to know. Um, but no, for now, we're going to go ahead and keep it as is, and everything should be A-OK. -okay. We're going to go ahead and put a bunch of these down. In fact, five rockets seems like enough. Five little engines on the bottom. Do you reckon they'll be able to pick me up? I, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, so we're going to go ahead and copy another one of these. We're going to bring it out sideways, and we're going to bring it out here. There we go. And maybe we'll just put one there. That seems OK to me. All right, cool. And we'll go ahead and do a similar thing over here. In fact, there we go. All right, good. Put one there. That's all good. Put one there and there. And I mean, I could be using the uh, sym symmetrical thing for this, uh, but instead I'm being stupid and putting them all in by myself. So there you go. Bam! That is a lot of rockets right there. And hopefully they'll be able to propel me into the air. So that'd be good. Anyway, uh, let's leave it as is, and we'll try and take off just using those. I know this probably isn't going to work, so we're going to add some like solid boosters on the sides, uh, and hopefully they'll help me uh, propel myself into the air a little bit quicker. Anyway, three, two, one, lock it, bam! Are they going to pick me up? Nope, it's not going to lift me off the ground. End flight, please, thank you. Go ahead and undo flight, undo and exit. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add side rockets or side boosters and we're gonna add three of them because three seems like a great number uh, We're gonna go ahead and add these to the sides as you guys can see right there That is very central on the side and we are gonna go ahead and do mirror and we're gonna do three there we go Cool, 
So this should happen on all three all three sides. We'll go ahead and at attach some of these things. We'll make them a little bit smaller. Although, like, a little bit fatter. There we go. Big fatty ones. There we go. Good. And uh, we're going to make them quite large. So we're going to go ahead and take this piece. Put it on there. We're going to make it even smaller. Because this piece is too big at the minute. Why haven't we got any arrows? I don't know why we don't have any arrows. I can't make it smaller. All right, hold on. Put a new fuel tank on. Actually, that's probably about the right skinniness, actually. So we'll go ahead and add a, d a bunch of these. There we go. And these are going to be like our solid state boosters. Solid state. Just solid. Solid boosters. Although they are using liquid fuel, so uh, maybe that's a bit of an issue, but whatever. Um, yeah, for some reason, I can't edit these pieces once they're on like that. Am I, am I a big dum-dum for not knowing how to do this? Maybe I have to select it. Do I have to select this as well? No. Do I have to select this? Maybe that's what I have to do. Wait. Oh, wow. You can make them, like, really intricate. That is... That's actually quite cool. I like that. I don't know how I'm supposed to make this look good now that I've made it an oval shape. But still. I need that to be, like, central. There we go. All right. There's our boosters on the outside. Uh, I don't want them being so big, so we'll go ahead and make them really small. And we'll put some rockets on there as well. So we'll go to here, go to engines, and we'll add these ones right there. All right, there are our, like, starting rockets. Everything should be A-OK -okay after that. We'll go ahead and add a nose cone to each of these. Uh, there's one right there. We'll go ahead and put it on there. We'll make them quite big. And everything should be fine. All right, now we need to start with the staging real quick. So the first stage is going to be these rockets. Then we're going to detach all of this. Yeah, I guess. That's fine. Then we're going to boost that rocket. Then we're going to detach this. And fire this rocket. And then the final stage is just the parachute at the top. So everything should be A-OK. -okay. We'll go ahead and launch ourselves into space. Yeah! Alrighty, here's our rocket. Obviously, I haven't painted it yet. However, if it was painted, I believe this thing would look cool. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go full throttle. We're going to go ahead and lock our, our heading, uh, which is directly upwards, which is great. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that slider, and we're just going to go for it. BAM! Okay, so this piece takes off. <laughs> the rest of those pieces didn't take off. Damn it! Okay, so all we've got is this. Yeah, we need some of these rockets on the bottom of those boosters. What is that? Did you guys see that? One of my boosters flew away. Alright, so we know that this rocket can actually propel us all the way to space anyway. Uh, however, I do want it to work nicely, so... We're going to go ahead and undo the flight, go backwards, and we're going to try and make it work a little bit better than it does at the minute by taking these ones off, okay? Taking those ones off and adding one of those massive rockets. Okay, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to make this one slightly smaller, and we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, now this might be a bad idea, but it also looks cool, so we'll go ahead and keep it, and we'll go ahead and press space. Here we go. All right, is everybody ready to go to, ready to, go to the moon? Are we ready to go to the moon, boys? All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is amazing. We got lots of fuel, so we are all good to go. And uh, eventually, once we're in... Oh, man, this thing actually looks really good. This thing looks great. I didn't mean to, to turn that there. But look at it. Holy Jesus. That looks amazing. I like them having three boosters instead of just two or going for four. Um, three looks really cool. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So now that we're up in the air, at like, you know what? Actually, if someone would come up with a plan for me, like, oh, wait, no, there's not enough fuel in these boosters. We're just carrying dead weight at the minute. Although, maybe we're not. We're still getting boosted into space. So that's good. Um, but yeah, if someone would come up with like an altitude where I have to turn to a certain degree um, Then let me know because that would be easier Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that and we're gonna fly sideways We're just gonna fly sideways from now on There we go Alrighty, cool Cool, we are going sideways It is all good And where are we at? Yeah, how high are we? We are not very high above the ground so we do want to keep going up at like 45 degrees, I guess. Uh, or just a little bit under 45 degrees. But we do still want to be going sideways. Hmm, I might have wasted a lot of fuel on that. That might have been a bad idea, changing directions. Um, but yeah, we need some sort of instruction plan. So like, let's say we get to 40,000 
meters altitude, we have to turn to 45 degrees and then after traveling that way for so long, we do something else? I don't really know. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. That's, that's why I'm asking for instructions, because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, although actually no, I'm just not a rocket scientist. So there you go. And I'm also not very good at maths. I'm also not very good at many things. Um, but let's stop talking about that for now. <laughs> um, how much more of the rocket do I have? So this thing's got lots of fuel. It's got one fuel tank here, this big piece right here. Then it's got the fuel tank from this point to here. And then we've got the last bit, which is just the rocket we start off with, which is just this little piece right here. So I think in space, this last piece will actually be fine. In fact, actually, I think we're way faster. I don't know. I don't know. Right, okay. We're going to go down a little bit. There we go. All right, coolio. And is this going to be our first orbit? Possibly. I don't know. How much fuel do we got? We got 72% 72, 72 fuel. All right, we want to start pointing downwards. Because at the minute, we're flying too far away from the... Maybe if I just point straight down. Possibly. Will that help me? I think that might help. <gasps> We're in orbit. We do actually have an orbit now. Oh, that's good. That's really good. All right. I'm pointing backwards. So that we can close down the orbit a little bit. Because at the minute, it's way too big. And we're going to go ahead and shut off our throttle. And we are in orbit. So we should stay going around the Earth. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Cool. With all that being said, we do have now we do have now a rocket in space. I don't have a name for it yet, but we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, we've also got to paint it, so that's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and paint this thing. Let's go into paint. We'll go ahead and go into custom, which is fine. And we'll change the main color to be, like, white, but not, like, bright white. Also, glossy. Yeah, glossy white. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to change the blue to red, because I like red, because that's frantic colors. There we go, nice nice spicy red right there. And we're also gonna put some red in other places. Like we could put red right there. We could also put red at the top. All of this is gonna be red. And we can also make this bit red too. Why don't we make all of it red? Well, the reason I'm not gonna make all of it red is because I like the staging. So this is one stage on the side. We'll go ahead and keep that like that. Uh, then this is one stage here. And this is one stage, is that all one stage? Or is this another stage there? I think that's a new stage. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Then what we can do is, I believe there's a way of putting on, um, hmm, is there a way of putting on thingamabobbies? Hmm. I basically want to put on textures, but I think I might have to do it by going into here, going to part properties, possibly, and then doing style. Yeah, there you go. We could do like striped all the way up if we wanted to, but then it's two colors So I don't know whether that's an issue or not Striped texture. Oh, it's the texture that I actually wanted to do Not the stripes. However, the stripes do look cool Right and the camouflage looks amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and put camouflage all the way up the sides Because look at it. It's cool. It's cool looking. I like the camouflage one. There we go. Look at that. It actually looks like a spaceship. Nice. Cool. We're going to have camouflage all the way up the middle piece. And uh, that's just how it's going to be. There we go. Vent. Nope. Camouflage. And that's how I'm going to leave it. Just like that. Which it looks weird. But I don't mind that at all. Also, we're going to put it on this piece too. Um, maybe not camouflage, but make it look a little bit different. So, I mean, that's camouflage. Let's go ahead and use, yeah, let's use those pieces. These pieces right here. I think that's pretty cool. All right, nice. We'll go ahead and leave it like that. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and launch this thing. And we're just going to leave it going straight in a big, long straight line. And we'll see where it can get up to. Okay. Also, um, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Is everybody ready? Three, two, one, launch. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Straight off the ground. Really easily. Oh, yes. Nicely done. All right, cool. It looks like a big milk bottle or something. Um, just because of this bit right here. Also, what was that? Did something just fly past me? I don't know. I don't know what that was. Anyway, doesn't it look beautiful? It looks great. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually leave this here 
thank you guys for watching the video. We do actually have a rocket in orbit now, so that's all good. And um, yeah, we can go ahead and use this as a platform to launch more stuff, and that's great. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, let me know what you thought about this rocket, because I think it's cool.